Lots of people traveling today and tomorrow we'll have to deal with weather. So far, delays out of the Washington area airports have not really been that bad, but it's a different story to the west of here. Tom Rousey is live at Reagan National Airport with an update for us on that. Tom. And Leon, I cannot even tell you how much colder it is right now than it was at this time last night. I wasn't even wearing a jacket then. Tonight you need a winter coat and then some. That said, it's not the weather around here that's been causing delays for airline passengers. It's weather elsewhere. On the roads, however, our area has a whole set of problems all its own. It's it's big. <laughs> This was I-95 in Howard County tonight, bumper to bumper in both directions. One family was trying to get home to New Jersey after a trip south. Going down wasn't so bad, but coming back is brutal. Yeah, it's getting there. It's time to start thinking about changing. <laughs> Still wearing shorts, Florida resident Eddie Prinz says he didn't hit any traffic his entire trip until that is the D.C. area. Stop and go the whole way. That's all we run into. Stop and go, stop and go. Not just 95, but 495, 295, and other interstate around here had major issues tonight. It's been crazy. Like, I can't explain it. Accidents, people getting pulled over, rubbernecking, so no. slowing everybody down. Most times we fly, but uh, this time we decided to drive and I don't think we'll do it again. But the airports were having issues too. BWI saw big crowds. So far, so good. Maryland resident Molly Kaysen was trying to make it to her parents in Kansas City for baby Layla's first Christmas. She wasn't traveling light. No presents. All the presents are already there. This is just all the stuff that comes with a baby. <laughs> there were a lot of delays, but most appeared to be an hour or less. But to the south at Reagan National, in some cases, the delays were pretty bad. A big ice storm that's hit Michigan, upstate New York, and New England is complicating things. It also didn't help travelers to Detroit earlier today when this plane slid off the taxiway. No one was hurt. And back here at Reagan National Airport, even at this hour, look at the traffic here at the airport right now. So obviously it has been a very busy day. That said, the delay situation seems to have improved as the night has worn on. AAA tells me they expect it today to be the busiest travel day of the Christmas season. That said, things are kind of spread out this year, so tomorrow is expected to be almost as bad. Live tonight at the airport, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC7 News.